Great Britain's wait for gold is over and who better to deliver another than Bradley Wiggins? Good morning. We're live from our studio overlooking the River Thames with a keen eye over our shoulder just in case uh, David Beckham plans to pass by on his speedboat again. Right, uh, let's get a German view of the match. Sarah Stone uh, is in Munich for us. Thanks, Gary. Well, the final might not be here until May, but it certainly feels like a final here tonight. What? An atmosphere. Now just two games stand between Bayern and a dream Champions League final here at home on the 19th of May. But those two games are against Jose Mourinho's Real Madrid. Joining me now is England captain Steven Gerrard. Steven, congratulations. How did you find that? You. Do you think that both wins, say, in the friendlies would lift the pressure ahead of the Euros? Yeah. Jamaica are so good on the track, USA so good in the pool, but Team GB didn't do too bad in cycling and out of all the London 2012 venues, the decibel levels reached at the velodrome raised the roof. Yes, joining me now ringside is Wimbledon runner-up Andy Murray. Andy, what have you been up to since Wimbledon? Uh, not much really. Too. Joining me now is the magician Dynamo. Is there any chance she can magic this weather a little bit better, Dynamo? Well, it's just started like, to it's rain. just stopped raining a little bit, so I think that's partly due to myself. Team A, Team Chisora tonight. Uh, I, I've met David Hay quite a few times. Uh, Didn't you go and visit his gym over in America somewhere? Yeah, I went, uh, actually saw him training in Miami. Stoppage or points? Um, the squad are staying in Krakow. Why have they chosen to set up camp there, Andy? Good afternoon and welcome to the lunchtime bulletin on Al Jazeera Sport Plus 3. Let's start with tennis though, and the semi final lineups at the French Open will be completed this afternoon. Striker. Yeah, left back, I think. Fantastic. Brilliant. From Sunderland as well, my neck is. Gwen Ashley Cole. You next. <laughs> Mr. Andrew Flintoff eating a pie on the 11th hole. Halfway house, how are you finding it so far? It's a bit hot, but it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Hernandez, he's just on fire, oh, isn't he? Yeah. 19 goals in 25 games. It's just fantastic, isn't I've it? Never known, I've never known a season like it, Sarah. As we like to have a look around the world. And Paul, you've got something close to your heart that you want to show us. You'd struggle, wouldn't you? I'd give it a good go, Paul. I don't know what you're talking about. Would you, would you be able to name all Asian? Of course I would, just don't have the time. OK. <laughs> well. On the last hole, how did you find today, Kenny? And watching them just as they'd won, I mean, it was evident, wasn't it, in their faces, just how thrilled they were. Well, it's beautiful. Oh, Here wow. we are, donning them. Well, I think we're pulling them off. Maybe the tie could stop him if you just shine it yeah, in no, the that, light. That, it that, that's it, exactly. That we'll it. Absolutely. We've got the veteran 54-year-old Nick Skelton celebrating the team show jumping gold yesterday. Ronnie, you did it again. Ali Carter went 100 up yesterday. Graham was leading for the majority of the game right at the end, late splurge. Now you've called power snooker the future of snooker. Do you stand by that? That's right. There's still lots to play for elsewhere in Syria, with the final Champions League place still up for grabs. Finally, Great Britain have a gold medal to celebrate.